nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and jaundice. These are some of the symptoms of hepatitis A. Hepatitis A is caused by a virus that attacks the liver. It can affect people of all ages all over the world. The virus spreads from the stool of the infected person to others. This is why hepatitis A is more common in places with poor hygiene and sanitation and among the homeless and poor. By taking precautions, we can avoid this infection. Let's ask Dr. Smart about it. Hello and welcome to Smart Clinic. Hopefully you've already seen my previous video about liver and hepatitis. In this video, let's talk about hepatitis A. Dr. A, how does hepatitis A affect our body? Hepatitis A is caused by a virus that enters the body through our mouth when we drink water or eat food that is contaminated with virus. Once inside the body, the virus travels from our intestines to blood and ends up in the liver. This infection has four phases. In the beginning, the virus quietly multiplies in the liver. The person may not feel any symptoms as yet and infection remains unnoticed. During this time, the virus starts shedding in the stools of the infected person. Then after a month, this small break-in turns into a full attack. The liver damage progresses. The body fights to stop the attack and now the person starts feeling symptoms of nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, loss of appetite, right upper abdomen pain, low-grade fever, and fatigue. This goes on for a week or so. With damage to the liver, the level of a chemical called bilirubin increases in blood. This leads to yellow color of eyes and skin known as jaundice. With this, the color of the urine becomes dark orange and a person may feel itching as well. Then after one or two weeks, the person starts recovering and things start getting back to normal. The yellow color slowly goes away, the symptoms resolve and energy levels increase. The body completely gets rid of the virus and it no longer spreads in the stool. In a few people, some symptoms can come back after some weeks. Almost all people with hepatitis A recover completely without any long-term effects. After one infection, our body develops immunity to this virus that protects it from any future attacks. Rarely in 1 in 10,000 people who get infected with hepatitis A, the liver damage can be very severe and lead to liver failure. This may require hospital admission and may need liver transplant or lead to death. Dr. A, how common is this infection and how can we avoid it? Hepatitis A is a global infection. It is far more common in developing countries. This is because of poor sanitation, lack of clean water supply, and hygiene practices. Here are some good hygiene habits to protect us from hepatitis A and other infections that spread in the same way. Number one, always wash your hands with soap and water after using toilet, after changing diapers of children, before eating, before cooking food, or touching utensils. Using soap and water can get rid of this virus. This is extremely important for people who prepare or sell food. Number two, avoid eating food from places where sanitation and cleaning is not good. Number three, drink clean water. If clean water is not available, then you should boil the water to kill germs such as hepatitis and many others. First filter the water using a cloth or any other filters, then heat the water till it starts boiling with visible bubbles. Let it boil for 1-2 to two minutes at least and then let it cool down. Now it is ready for drinking. Number 4. Wash meat before cooking and wash your hands after handling raw meat. Washing meat and cooking it gets rid of many germs. Number five, always wash vegetables and fruits before eating. Many hepatitis A outbreaks in local communities such as schools, daycare centers, or other places are related to contamination of water supply or spread of infection through an infected person in that community. Make sure everyone practices good hand washing, use clean drinking water, and clean utensils to prevent such outbreaks. If we all work together, we can protect ourselves and others. Dr. A, how is hepatitis A diagnosed and how is it treated? 
After listening to the story of the person, we do a few blood tests to diagnose hepatitis A. We also do other blood tests such as liver function test and INR to see how bad is the liver damage. At times, additional blood tests or ultrasound may be needed. Hepatitis A infection typically heals with time in 2 to 6 weeks. People recover back to normal life without any long term effects. If you are infected, stay well hydrated and take good rest. You may need some medicines for nausea or pain. It's very important that you and others living with you wash hands with soap and water, especially after using toilet, before cooking, before touching utensils and before eating. In this way, infection will not spread to others. You should consult a doctor to make sure the diagnosis is correct and the recovery happens without complications. In rare cases, the disease can be very severe, requiring hospital admission. Thank you, Dr. A. Can you tell us who needs a vaccine for hepatitis A? The use of vaccine for hepatitis A is different in countries where infection is common than those where infection is rare. In places where hepatitis A is common, many people have already had this infection in their past and would not need a vaccine. Hepatitis A vaccine is used for those who had a close contact with a person infected with hepatitis A. Vaccine is also used for those who are traveling to areas where hepatitis A is very common. People who have other chronic liver diseases such as hepatitis B or hepatitis C should also get a vaccine for hepatitis A to prevent this disease. See our video about hepatitis C to learn more about it. Did you know? By keeping our hands clean, we can avoid getting sick and spreading germs to others. With good hand washing, we can prevent one out of three stomach or lung infections. Always wash your hands with soap and water, especially after using the bathroom, before cooking, and before eating. Be smart, stay healthy, and help others stay healthy too.